Hey, orange one here. So, uh, I'm adding in some commentary post-recording this time. Um, it's kind of weird. I'm actually watching this on a laptop and adding this in, like, a couple weeks after recording it. <laughs> I'm back where I used to live, but my computer is where I'm gonna be living come summer. Well, if you enjoy this video, remember to like and subscribe. We're going to be brutally taking people out. This is going to be the start of our um, Season 6 campaign. I'm going to do a no commentary version as well for the people who like it and just upload them at, at the same time so you can choose between the two. So if you don't like listening to me, switch over to that because I might talk about things that you're like, ah, I don't really want to listen to that. Just listen to the gameplay. I get that. I mean, I hope that you want to listen to me, because I know that Matt's here for that. Right, Matt? This character is, like, brand new. Like, literally brand new. Look, they're even well-rested. It's good times. Good times indeed. Yeah, so I've been wanting to uh, talk about this for a while now on the channel, but I haven't been able to really um, figure out how I wanted to do it, and when, and also been difficult for me to record with commentary for a little bit but um i want to just kind of talk about how this game although i like it so much and it's an amazing game like it really is good in so many ways it also was made without any consultation of any native organizations or anything it's pretty offensive in a lot of ways um i want to promote the game still and because i think it has the potentials to still be good but like honestly the developer has not shown good intention to me. He's been pretty shady with silencing critics who are native. Hey, what did I just see? It's it's a pretty big mess. Is that someone out there? <laughs> but uh trust me, this gameplay is gonna be good, so <laughs> these guys are gonna just like all get taken out there and I'm gonna know what's coming. I think that's the maybe even our first gun. I don't think this character, I gave a gun like the other ones that I started off with. I gave them like little starter kits, essentially. This one, I was like, no, you gotta earn it, man. I'll give you like a bow, a good bow. Okay, so that guy's probably, because he cried out a little bit there, there, there might be people coming. They have to know like the game mechanics super well, right? And see, this is what I mean, like, this game has, like, so many cool things, and, like, I'm just, like, looting guns off these guys, getting a couple bullets. I'm trying to work with those couple bullets to take out this camp. Like, this is what this game's all about. Like, it's a really good game, and there's a lot of good potential, but, like, it is, if you think about it, based completely on stereotypes, and it's like, oh, man. Like, the fact that you didn't even consult is pretty bad, like... If people are like, well, you know, there's more good than bad and we're okay with that, like, sure, that's great. But, like, if people were more upset about it than not, like, the fact that they're not even willing to look at that is, uh... I guess he got really scared. Please, don't hurt me! <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember this. peeing as we're running away. Jeez. Gross. <laughs> I think I, that was an accident, actually, but, like, in hindsight, I think the character was just so upset they took control. <laughs> right? Let's go with that. That's what I'd like to, to believe. I mean, if... Yeah, there, it's been pretty interesting because there's been plenty of people who have complained and then their stuff is like, even if it's respectful, it, it's being taken down as like, being like, people being like, mean. It's like, no, they're just saying like, this could be offensive. And it's like, just this intolerance of this feedback. It's been pretty crazy to just kind of see that. But, I mean, there's also so much good feedback. Like, the character designs are really great. The game actually runs pretty fluidly, considering it's such a small team. And there's a lot of elements that work so well together. But that being said, that doesn't excuse that. But, like, this is pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. I enjoy that. 
like, for all the criticism, I do have to admit, like, it's, it is a good game, but, like, just could be a little bit smarter in some other ways. <laughs> Oh man, and just a reminder, there is also a no commentary version if you're like, I don't want to listen to you talk about this, because I, I'm pretty committed to making sure people know. And I, there's like all these screenshots and stuff don't kill me. online. Oh, please, like, please don't kill me. Please, I'll tell you anything. Please don't kill me. I'll tell you where this stuff is. Hey, hey, you gotta... If you go on my Discord, I, I can tell you a whole lot more, and there's a, a number of conversations that, where I and others have kind of talked about this, so... Easier to go to one central thing than like a million different videos, right? <laughs> right but yeah, I know that there's been people saying they want to boycott the game, but see... I don't necessarily want to, like, boycott the game. I, I don't think that's the right response. I think that it's just more of saying, like, well, if you actually work with some native people, which I don't think is a big ask by any means, then this game, I think, would be an incredible opportunity to let them have some say in their story being presented to other people, you know? That's not a big thing to ask for, I don't think. Oh look, this dude. I think he was the one we intimidated, so we let, we gotta let him go. But I think once you've, you're in this situation, it's like, ooh, maybe you should get out of there. <laughs> you know? And then I think I had to pause for whatever reason, and then continue this at a later date. Yeah. It looks like... I'm hoping that the video works well with the, um with this audio splicing the two together I think it should yeah I mean I don't think there's any reason it shouldn't be able to go into shortcut and do the editing in there with the um, the original video on this audio I've done it before with like the Metro series but it was on two different computers I haven't ever processed anything on this laptop like this big so a little nervous about that, but we got we got some uh, gigabytes on it on this laptop, so I think I'm okay. But yeah, I think that we went and may have done some trading or something with my um, their profile and gotten some skill points or something. I don't know. We've definitely got a new skill there. I think with the um, eyeglass. Also, I did design this character so that it started with, like, a lot of stamina. That's why you're gonna see me be able to do, like, the concentration skill. And use that effectively. I always try and do that. If they don't have high stamina, I'm not gonna play with the character, basically. I've gotta get a different name. So there's someone that almost fought us that was, like, around here or something. See, this is where the game shines, right? And hey, it's day, so I know that, Matt, you'll like that you can actually see things, right? <laughs> you can see that guy past the bush, I hope. Um, it was right up here. Yeah, you see him. There, yep. And there's another there. Good tomahawk. I think I tomahawk. That's what my gut yeah, is telling me to do. Do I not have the tomahawk yet? I might not have the tomahawk skill. Yeah, I think we're just trying to figure out what's going on around us. There's someone there. Yeah, you can kind of see him in the shade. It's kind of hard to see right now, but there's a dude right there. On the other side of that pole. Went away. Oh, there's someone right there. 
Yeah, see, this is where you gotta be careful. So you could just spot you, and then everyone knows you're here. They're here! Or you can take them out, and no one sees where you put them. Someone might be going to check out where he he was, but it's not where he is. <laughs> Gotta be quick. Gotta be nimble. They're out there. Find them. Yep, someone heard him say that and they're they're upset. He's gone again. And there they go. I think there's another one that's like right there though. Yeah. Everyone. And someone kind of in the distance there. And there's a number of people here that we can free. If you look in the cages there, there's a couple prisoners. So you know what that means. Of an army. <laughs> Some friends. I'm going to not call them chiefs anymore. I'm going to try and do better. I know I've done that in the past, and yeah, I should do better. It's just being, buying into like silly, bad jokes. Okay, so there's a couple of them here. There's three of them lined up there, I can see. But here's the thing. Who is that? Ooh. Could have been spotted there, so I just didn't want to risk it. Hey, hey, someone's dead. That's that's definitely safe though. <laughs> I saw them. Oh. They're out there. Let's see, this is where things Cover get interesting. Right. You see that guy there? He doesn't know exactly where we are. So we can pop out. As long as we got the bow drawn. Hey, I've spotted an enemy! there? That yeah, was close. If they had gotten us there. Guys, they're here! See, we got enough concentration where even at this low level we can get like a ton of shots off at this guy. And like... I'm pinned down! The thing also about with this damage setting is that you don't even have to kill them at this point. You can just like... Put your hands up and get an arrow slow. to on them and they'll bleed out. I think that's the really nice thing about damage in this is that, like you just hit someone and then you run away. And they'll go down a lot of the time. <laughs> okay, we got one last one to mess with here. <laughs> All silly, huh? It's a little ridiculous sometimes. Hey, hey, no, 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 don't, don't kill me. All right, all right, I'll tell you where he is. Just please don't hurt me. I've already told you everything. See, that's why you want to interrogate some of these guys, right? So you've got the option to intimidate him. I think we actually went to this camp specifically because this guy was in here and we were trying to get him. And look at that, 3,000 skill points. So we'll take your gun. I think we took his gun there. And then we'll let you go. Get up those skill points, man. And the mission's actually less rewarding when you have this <laughs> unrealistic mode because um, the bonus from realistic mode doesn't quite account for <laughs> like the objectives. So it's like they don't get the same boost that like you know killing enemies get. So it's like all the, everything gets boosted by three hundred percent. That means that the missions are like worth a third of what they really used to be, <laughs> you know, compared to everything else. Inflation. <laughs> Build point inflation. And honestly, with this game, if you want with the skill points, it's like, um, 
you can just get as many skill points as you want with meat. You can just meet, make meat baits and collect meat, and there's tons of meat in the game world. And just also tell your chiefs to like hunt and collect meat, and then you just make meat bait from that, and like you can get infinite skill points from it. Like legit, if you get to a point where you've got a couple bases and you can just do that, you can just keep on churning that out, and then just before you know it, be unstoppable. <laughs> Just from uh, cheesing the um the mechanics. It's just how the game works, you know. Amazing. <laughs> it lets you do everything kind of how you want to do it. I think the guys are looting, but I think I might have told them to come to me because I want to give them some loot. Yeah, come here. Take this. <laughs> Too ridiculous. Just telling him to ca carry some of my stuff. <laughs> no, he's full. And then this one's got like some stuff he doesn't need, right? Like that meat there. You don't need that. Let me give you some sound traps. And then we've got to get, I and mean, we could be using that to make skill points like I'd previously discussed, but you know, what's the point? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. If you want to see more about kind of what's going on with the developers and everything, and that, like, also there was like feedback people were giving on Discord and Twitter and Reddit, and in all cases, the developers either deleted whatever they could or censored any criticism but left up any praise and it was you know pretty one-sided in that regard and it was like there's valid criticism it wasn't just like people are saying like oh people are being mean and you know honestly that's just a matter of how you expect people to react when you're doing something pretty offensive as like what people are, are thinking that the devs have done here So, you know, that is, that is what it is. But then the developers also were, you know, saying things like cultural appropriation is completely, like, fake, like, it's not real. And that they, as artists, can do whatever they want. And, like, anyone who says otherwise should just, like, be quiet. And, like, and people were saying, like, really racist, sexist, homophobic things and, like, about the critics and the developers were like thumbs upping it like yeah this be mean to those people <laughs> like i don't have to listen to anyone who's from that side <laughs> totally ridiculous <laughs> it's not not a great way to um you know hear criticism if there were, I mean imagine if this is valid criticism I mean sure may, may, maybe you think it's not but imagine if it is and then seeing all the stuff and I'm just saying that like there's some people who are going to be more upset about this than like with the reaction in the community and the developer and it's just going to make things worse. <laughs> it just seems to be like kicking the can down the street kind of thing. It's going to delay the problem, make it worse. Idioms, man. <laughs> Don't you love them? <laughs> you know, like idioms, like sayings. Those weird sayings that we all have from all these places. Like, what's your favorite idiom? So look, we've got too many people now. <laughs> so I think we need to give them an order, and then they'll do jobs, and then we won't have that overpopulated problem. It's good to have um, some stuff, like, being produced. Oh yeah, they don't have any bows, so might as well have them gather that. Oh, we get to work. 
Yeah, I like didn't really invest in my home camp. I just basically sprinted over to the nearest enemy camp to try and see who I could take out. Oh look, there's quite a few of them here. Yeah, this character's done really well. I'm not gonna say exactly how long they've survived in this realistic mode, but it's it's very, very long. So if you like long playthroughs of Iron Man games, you'll like this series. If you can tolerate me. <laughs> oh man. That dude couldn't tolerate it. Okay. Let's see. You know, in the grass? Nope. There's someone there kind of by the end of that grass field. And there's some kind of like shorter grass or something here. I don't know what that is. It's a similar, different crop. It looks different than the other one though. Oh look, they have a shovel. They're just in that bag. I'm looting shovels. That's how early on in the game we are. And there's a lot of them out there. Right? <laughs> it's not just me. And then there's some dude out there. Do you see him? Kind of hard to see. But you can kind of see him there, yeah. Alright. Um, yeah, the game's a little laggy there. I don't know. No, wait! I'll talk! <laughs> Didn't really get that opportunity. It's all about making sure they don't find the bodies for as long as possible and just taking them out quiet. And like, if you can chain them, you can actually get like pretty close to them and take them out quietly. And they don't know it, but like at this point we don't really have the skills for that. But you can use that fence to block the line of sight and them pretty well. I don't really see you past it. Yeah, it's, it actually works out very well. And then you can do things like that. And even when they're looking straight at you. In the middle of the day. We were about to get spotted though. Yep. We're close. That was close. Super close. Hey! Hey! The enemy's here! Oop. Well that guy's dead. And people might be coming inbound at that point. Luckily, we, we still have our tomahawk on us, so we're okay. But yeah, I think you can hear people running that way. Just not a good sign for us. Yeah, they're notified. Close. Super duper close, right? <laughs> I know you're out there. Get up. That's how we do it. Now this guy's gonna stay around here for a little bit. We should be able to take him. The question is, are we gonna get flanked? Ooh, almost got seen there. See, this is what you need to do. You need to just peek up when they. Hey, over there, enemy! And they can't really get a good line of sight. They're here. They're here. I'm under fire. And you gotta just make sure they can't actually shoot you. Gotta break that line of sight. <laughs> You're okay. You can just like take these guys out. Unfortunately, our tomahawk is up there still. I forgot. I think I. Might clear this place, I might not. It's been so long since I recorded this. Oh, look, there's a place near us. We have a fair amount of skill points. See, this is where it's like, at this point in the game, you really should spend those points when you get them. Especially, yeah. This was probably the 
when it moved, honestly, because from what I remember, that bow and that bow, this character uses it very effectively. <laughs> Not so much at this point, to be honest, but I think that's because the bow accuracy is really low. But my goodness. We really like that. Yeah, see, what I would like to see is, like, different bonuses being applied to your character if you had, like, different culture starts or tribal starts. Like, you know, there's a lot of Civ games that do things like that. And so you could have, like, different restrictions also or bonuses to using different items or weapons. You know, maybe there's certain, like, tribe-specific um, weapons that you can you can use right or you could have like folklore in the game or like the objectives I mean the objectives are pretty good I like the objectives as they are but like you could have you know things where you need to get ingredients or where you need to um, not right here. go somewhere and like hunt an animal or like you know various things that you could do. Of course, none of that should be done without approval if you were just doing that, like, without anyone involved from the culture, that's pretty offensive. But if you involve the people, if it's, and they're like, okay with it, then it's fine. course you're not gonna make everyone happy and that's what everyone always says right it's not so much about making everyone happy it's about just trying to do better i feel like that excuse of well we can't make you happy is like basically we're just not even going to try to do better which is like a pretty weak excuse in my opinion yeah during the day you gotta get that visibility right, Matt. You gotta be able to see the action. <laughs> yeah, it's this at this point in the game it's kinda like ridiculous that they can even see you because you're so far away. But I mean at the same time. They probably would be looking for you, so that makes sense. They didn't actually spot me there, to be honest. Just incredibly close. Oh, and then here we go. Got trouble. And if you saw how my last character died, you'll understand that I'm pretty nervous here. And there's another one over there, if you didn't see them. We were looking straight at it. But it didn't seem interested in us, so we're good. For now, at least. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So these guys still upset. We're getting the drums going. Yeah, I don't know why, but I always get like the music is like copyright copyrighted where I have to like share it with someone so I don't know where they got the music from the game I would like the also if they changed the um dialogue so it wasn't so weird like the new dialogue is just worse than the old dialogue honestly hey hey please stop don't kill me no wait I'll talk no he's hiding that way hey it's just like echoing and like all of the audio just like is really weird and the lines are also just kind of creepy and weird as well. I don't know, for some reason, they're off-putting to me. <laughs> it's nice to have more dialogue, but it's also just kind of weird. And then also, the it's a bug. So I'm not really going to say that this is a valid criticism. It's more of just a bug that they should address. It's not like their fault, but like... <laughs> When you send out your patrols, they have the same dialogue as these guys, so your characters sound just like these American dudes. They also sound very echoey, but that's not 
really the primary issue there. <laughs> There's three of them there, and it looks like they're literally all peeing at, like, a little too close to each other for my comfort <laughs> for peeing. You're definitely getting some splash. <laughs> Okay, there's a dude in the house there who's going to see us. So we got to be smart. Man, we got almost got spotted there like two or three times. So you know there's a dude in that house. We know there's like two or three guys there and then there's this dude here. So, you go around, and you clear what you can, right? Who's out there? Someone is in that building. He's suspecting us. If they come out, then that's good for us. I've honestly forgotten how this combat goes. Kind of cool for me, because I'm getting to like rewatch this, essentially. It's like a blind person. And from knowledge of the um, blind in terms of knowing what's gonna come up. Don't kill me! Stop! Please! Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! I'll tell you where this stuff is. I'm bored. Something's not right okay, here. Okay, that XP if we can. We'll take the prisoner where possible, but if we can't take all of them, then we won't try. Might as well. Something's not right here. Yeah, these guys are investigating now. Hey, hey! Someone's dead! Uh-oh. Someone's dead, guys. I saw him! I uh. Now we gotta try and get out of the visibility of the guy flanking me. us there. I need to reload. I don't think they were actually flanking us. I think I was just down there and got hit. I didn't need to. Oops. It seems that the guy's in the building is like stuck or something. I think that's the one I intimidated, but I forgot. So I've been sh shot in the head there, it looks like. There's only like one left, I'm pretty sure. So just take the time that we need to. <laughs> We do have actually our friends, so I should have them come in. I don't know why. I'm not having them finish this for me. Because they'd probably die is the thing. I don't want them to die this early. But we do have seven bullets of a good revolver here, so we should be able to do this. Or just kill them. Oh wait, I remember this. Guys, they're here. Yes, yeah, this Enemy is a little, sighted. little sketch. By a little sketch, I mean really sketch. Yeah, like super duper. Not a good idea. <laughs> We did it. Yay. 